Angies, welcome to the channel if you're new or if you're not, I'm Alicia and I am stoked you're here either way. Seriously stoked actually because it is one of our favorite times of year here at Mind Over Munch, Halloween. Today I have some spooky drinks to share with you to add to your Halloween spread. They're extra spooky in fact because they all glow in the dark. <laughs> Okay, we'll start with a ghoulish glowing fizzy lemonade. So how does the glow happen? The secret ingredient today is tonic water. It is a carbonated beverage that has a chemical called quinine. It is actually made from the bark of a tree and used for malaria treatment. It gives tonic water the bitter taste, which is offset by all the sugar, but the chemical is also interestingly fluorescent under blacklight. So yes, you will need a blacklight to make these glowing drinks work. For the lemonade, I simply combine tonic water, lemonade, and sparkling water. Heads up, you can use diet and or regular tonic water for these if you're worried about the sugar. And earlier this year, I also did show a recipe for low sugar lemonade that I will link below if you wanna do a homemade. So <laughs> that's literally it, that's the recipe. You chill it, you serve it, and don't forget to turn out the lights. So fun! It tastes like a fizzy sweet lemonade. The best part and the point, of course, is the glow. The key is having at least half of the mixture be tonic water for it to actually glow. And obviously make sure that you have a black light too. I have linked the ones that I got on Amazon, which were pretty inexpensive. Next up, a radioactive orange Halloween punch in slime dipped glasses. the glasses, I took a store-bought green frosting and melted it in the microwave for about 30 to 40 seconds until liquidy. Then slowly dip and turn the glasses to get the top and outside part coated without getting too much on the inside so that it doesn't drip down. And then quickly sprinkle on some Halloween sprinkles if you'd like, turn it up right so you get some of those nice organic drips and then allow it to set in the fridge. Ghoulish. For the punch, it is simply orange juice, pineapple juice, mango juice, and sparkling water. I find it's easiest to mix it all in a large pitcher and then serve over ice. You could totally adultify this with alcohol if you prefer, and you could also totally use tonic water instead of sparkling water. But this time, I decided to freeze tonic water as ice cubes. So instead of the drink itself glowing, the ice cubes do. Whoa, that is spooky. And the drink is, of course, a sweet and tasty punch with a hint of fizz. A fun and bewitching brew. Okay, I've got one more to go, but I wanna remind you to subscribe and hit the bell for more holiday videos all season long if you're enjoying this one. The last drink of the day is a bloody hands punch. The drink itself is a mix of orange juice, apple juice, cranberry juice, and grape juice watered down with plain water. But again, feel free to use tonic water for a glow and a fizzy taste. But instead, this time, I decided to make glowing hand ice cubes. I filled food safe gloves with tonic water that I had already allowed to settle and sit open so that it wasn't so carbonated, and then I tied it off like a balloon. I froze these on a tray overnight and then removed. I found that a hot, wet paper towel helped to loosen the glove from the ice cube, and then I could just cut away the top of the glove and peel it off the icy hand. Into the chilled punch they go when you're ready to serve. I do highly recommend waiting to add the hands until your guests arrive and you can turn Turn out the lights because, oh man, that is creepy in the very best way. <laughs> I hope that you found these drinks a fun way to celebrate Halloween. Comment below and let me know which you would like to try. We always get so excited and have had a lot of fun with our crazy Halloween videos in the past. I will link some of our favorites below. Some are pretty spooky, so beware. Thank you so much for being here. I will see you next week with a brand new Halloween episode. And remember, it's all a matter of mind over munch.